Tight-knit group of friends are trying to make sense of the devastation they woke up to on New Year's Day. 22-year-old Ben Cable from Shelby Township killed in a horrific hit-and-run crash. He was uh, a really f funny guy. He was a great guy to be around. and. It's just devastating for everyone. Tim Bollinger remembers Cable as a caring, kind person who could make anyone laugh. Cable studied electrical engineering at Michigan State University and was home for the holidays. Bollinger says he was at a party with Cable on New Year's Eve. Yeah, I was really excited to see Ben because it's, it it's been a second since I've seen him. And uh, I was hanging out with him. We were all hanging out with him, having a great time. And I just didn't expect that that was going to be the last time I was going to see him. It was going to be the last goodbye. Bollinger says he had a designated driver and offered Cable a ride home. Bollinger says Cable told him he planned to stay at the party. At some point, I guess he wanted to leave and called an Uber. And then he said his Uber was out, was out there. He showed his phone and, and said two minutes away. I mean, we don't know what happened between the gap between him walking out of the house and walking down the road. but. It's tragic. Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard says the crash happened just before 6 in the morning. Sheriff Bouchard says Cable was crossing Rochester Road, south of Wims Lane in Oakland Township, when a car slammed into him and took off. To strike a person and drive off um, is just kind of hard to wrap your head around. And obviously, a family and friends got to struggle with the fact that on the first day of a new year, they now have a void. Sheriff Bouchard believes the driver is a woman. He says the car is a BMW 3 Series that's possibly white. The sheriff says the car will likely have damage to the front. As for the driver responsible. Turn yourself in. We're going to find you sooner or later. I mean, you're, you're going to get caught, so the best thing to do is to come forward. You can't leave someone laying on the side of the road like nothing. It's a human being. You know, you don't know. Who you, who, you, who you hit, you know, what kind of person they are. You, you know, they just took a great person from society, all his friends, all his family, everyone who's ever known him, and now he's just gone like that. If you have any information, the Oakland County Sheriff's Office wants to hear from you. I'm Veronica Meadows, Fox 2 News.